Hey guys, welcome back to Kay's Cooking and Vlogs. It is her daughter here again, making an appearance. And in today's video, we will be making the TikTok viral famous spaghetti alfredo. These right here are the ingredients that we will be using today. Here are the ingredients. The list will be on the screen. There are too many items to be listing. So that's why I will just put it on the screen. By the way, we will not be making our Fredo from scratch just because we want to make that a separate video. But I hope you guys still like it. Now let's get right into the video. So first we will be dicing up our onion, garlic, sweet peppers, and thyme. Now that everything is all diced up, we will put on our pot with water to a boil and we will put in salt and a little bit of oil to put our pasta in. We will also be putting on our pot to prepare our minced meat. We will be throwing in some oil to, to pretty much cover the bottom. Meanwhile, our meat pot is heating up. We will be throwing in our pasta. I like to break mine up. Some people don't like to. It's really up to you. And we take our fork and we just stir it up just to make sure the spaghetti isn't sticking together. Back to our meat. Now we're going to throw in our onion, garlic, and thyme. And we're gonna let it saute for a little bit. So some people may be wondering why we didn't throw in the bell peppers yet. It's because we didn't want it to overcook to the point it was mushy, if you get what I'm saying. Now that it is sauteed, we will be throwing in our meats to cook for a little bit. Then we will begin to season the pot. Now that the meat has cooked for a little bit, we will season the pot. So first we will be using our garlic powder. Then our black pepper. Complete seasoning. Seasoned salt. A 
adobo seasoning. Cayenne pepper. And we will begin to stir it up to put in our tomato sauce. So now we will be putting our ragu traditional tomato sauce in. So now we will be putting a little bit of sugar. This is really optional. A lot of people don't like it, a lot of people do. I think it's a good thing. I think it cuts out some type of acid. But we will also be putting in our bell peppers now and a little bit of Italian seasoning. After stirring in the ingredients real good, we are going to cover the pot and let it shimmer for a little bit. Now here it is, pretty much all done. Just gonna stir it up for a little bit more and turn off the stove and move on to the pasta. Now we're checking on the pasta and it seems to be all done. Now we will get started with the next step which will be making the alfredo sauce. So for the alfredo sauce, I just use a little bit of butter. and I waited till the butter melt out. Then I threw in the Alfredo sauce. And I seasoned it up a little bit with some black pepper, garlic powder, complete seasoning and parsley. Then we began to stir up the sauce and everything in it. And when it tasted how we wanted it to, we started the process of mixing in the pasta with the sauce. For this process, I did it little by little just because I didn't want too much. I also don't like my pasta to be as runny as others. So I may add a little bit more Alfredo from the bottle but not too much to the point where the pasta is runny. Plus, we will be adding the spaghetti sauce, which is a sauce in itself. So that will prevent any dry pasta for anybody who is concerned. Now we're just stirring to make sure the Alfredo is fully through. Now in the last step, we will be preparing our pan to go in the oven. So first we will be throwing our Alfredo at the bottom layer.
Then we will be putting our spaghetti sauce on top of that layer and making sure everything is spread evenly. Then spreading it with mozzarella cheese. If you like your pasta very, very cheesy, feel free to add more. Then we will throw on a little bit of parsley on top just to make it cute, you know. And we will put it in the oven from 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown. And here is the finishing results. Looks so good, tastes so good, and smells so good. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Well, we will see you guys in the next video.